Can you receive ATSC 3.0 channels without an external antenna? That is the question in today's video. I have the Zinwell Zat 600B, which is an ATSC 3.0 and ATSC 1.0 tuner box, solely connected with DC power to power the unit and an HDMI connection to the TV. This device does not have an internet connection. I don't have it connected to Wi-Fi or via a hardwired ethernet connection. And of course, this device does not have an external antenna plugged into its F connector, so let's see what the results are with the channel scan. As you can see, six channels were added to my guide lineup without me even having an external antenna plugged into the box. And no surprise, all six of these channels were ATSC 3.0 channels. Let me explain how this is possible. First, it's important to look at how the broadcast is being sent on RF channel 31 that is containing these channels. First off, WTVJ is an ATSC 3.0 station that is broadcasting two physical layer pipes, PLP0 and PLP1. PLP0 is using quadrature phase shift keying modulation with a code rate of 6 by 15. PLP1 is using 256 non-uniform quadrature amplitude modulation with a 7x15 code rate. And this transmission is using a technology called layered division multiplexing. Quadrature phase shift keying with a code rate of 6x15 is supposed to have a minimum receive SNR of 1.5 decibels. And 256 non-uniform quadrature amplitude modulation with a 7x15 code rate is supposed to have have a minimum receive SNR of 17 and a half decibels. However, since this broadcast is using layered division multiplexing and they have about a four decibel correction factor, the SNR is penalized by four decibels, which means that PLP0 has a minimum receive SNR of five and a half decibels instead of one and a half, and the non uniform QAM 256 PLP1 has a 21 and a half decibel minimum receive SNR in order to receive the information from that layer. So the reason why I was able to get these six channels to come up on the guide is because the guide information is being sent on PLP0 with a minimum receive SNR of only five and a half decibels. All of this data is being sent on this 
PLP0 QPSK PLP. And as shown earlier, when I zoomed in, the signal to noise ratio, the SNR, without an external antenna, just so happened to be 6.1 decibels or 0.6 decibel milliwatts above what's needed in order to successfully demodulate PLP0. And also, I wanted to mention that there is nothing particularly impressive about the power level of this station. There are many ATSC 1.0 stations that are nearly identical in propagation characteristics and power level to this station, and those ATSC 1.0 stations are nowhere near being able to be received right now in comparison to this ATSC 3.0 signal because of the way that it's being modulated. Now, Comcast is not sending any data other than images and guide information on this PLP0, so unfortunately, I cannot watch any TV programs unless my SNR is high enough to to successfully demodulate PLP1, which again requires 21 and a half decibels. Now there is nothing at a technical level that could prevent them from broadcasting TV channels on this QPSK PLP0 with this modulation and code rate. In fact, not only is it possible, they have a little over four megabits per second of data capacity on this PLP0 layer, which means you could theoretically send 4K video using a codec like VVC, or you could send two high quality HD programs using HEVC, and you could even send even more than two, you could send like four or five with VVC using this small data capacity here. PLP0 still has quite enough data capacity to send TV programs if this station wanted to do it in the future. You may think that this is really cool that this box is able to receive this PLP0 without an external antenna, but what if I told you that this SNR required for this PLP is actually relatively high compared to what ATSC 3.0 could actually broadcast? In fact, the lowest possible to send a TV channel is negative six decibels, and again, this requires a positive five and a half decibel SNR, and you could have an SNR as low as negative six and still watch TV channels. Channels. To have a signal coming in that is negative six decibels would be exponentially lower in signal quality than what this is right now. So there is a lot of room to get even lower compared to what this box is currently receiving without an external antenna. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick in a paper clip that will increase the SNR from around six decibels that I'm currently getting it in at to over 21 and a half decibels, which will allow me to receive everything on PLP1. And although all four of the channels that are actually being broadcast over the air have DRM with them, this box handles DRM without an internet connection. So there is no need for me to connect this to the internet. I can simply have this $99 box plugged in with DC power, an HDMI connection and a paperclip, and I am able to watch TV channels perfectly fine.